you struggle with ideas when making builds in Minecraft? Do you struggle with designing them from scratch? Do you also have aphantasia like me? In this video, I want to help you design a house while struggling with aphantasia because we're building one today in this world of mine that I like to call AI Builds My World. If you're new here, aphantasia is a condition where you can't see your mind's eye. So you can't really see pictures in your head in simple terms anyways. This is not limited to just images. It could be sounds, it could be memories, it could be music, pictures, whatever that you try to conjure up in your head. Aphantasia can be a burden for someone coming up with ideas, but I'd like to prove that wrong. That's why I'm here. I've had aphantasia my entire life, and I really like to be creative in a way, but it's hard for me to be creative because I have a mental block. Like, aphantasia, that can be a burden sometimes, but I'm not gonna let that stop me now, am I? That's not why we're here today, though. No, no. I'm here to show you that just because you can't see images in your head doesn't mean you can't describe your thoughts to make it become a reality. So let's get into it, shall we? Hello, my friends of the interwoobs. My name is Hinamori, and I have a want to be creative while having aphantasia. Having aphantasia may be a slight disadvantage, but that doesn't mean anything, especially when you have inspiration around you at all times. Just look outside. Now, today I want to build a building on my list, last little island that I'm dubbing cold themed or snowy theme. And with that, I know I'm terrible at making buildings. Uh, I am not the greatest when it comes to designing these. I'm afraid of only ever doing a square shape or something like that, but today I'm gonna break out of that comfort zone and I'm gonna try to make something a little less square and a, something a little more square, rectangle, and round all at the same time. God, this sucks. Who wrote this script? I did. I wrote this script. Fear me. I love this game with a passion and I hate that it's hard for me to come up with new ideas all the time but I really want to push myself to my next level of creativity, whatever that may be. This building I want to make is going to have some warped blocks in it, a block I really never use. Uh, that includes the wood, the logs. I want to make a small-ish building where part of it is like a rectangle that leads to a smaller tower with an even tinier tower coming off of it, kind of like a wizard's tower. It's going to be like a, like a wizard research center on snow see creative Ooh. Spooky. i've been struggling with the color combo of what i want to go with this warped wood obviously and i've decided on blackstone or deep slate because black and blue always goes pretty well together there's one thing that i still don't have in this world and that my friends it's a gold farm. I already have a small bartering setup, and I would just like take the gold that I mined and give it to the piggies. That's not gonna cut. I need a lot of blackstone now. So I guess I can start by making a gold farm. Cue the intro. <laughs> And just like that, the gold farm is now done. But it's time to farm up a lot of blackstone and we're gonna do that with these piglins behind me. Uh, this is a of my own design, it's terrible. Don't ask how it looks in the back, it's absolutely garbage. Um, but if you are enjoying the video so far and you are enjoying the content, please feel free to hit that like button or maybe subscribe 
at the same time it's free also we got cookies i got i got cookies you want cookies here you go have some cookies they're really good fresh off the press i mean fresh off the 3d printer yep that's right get your free cookies today 3dcookies.com just kidding don't go there it's probably a scam And after a short little time lapse there, I hope you guys enjoyed me placing some snow in a path. Uh, I needed it because I didn't want to do it on camera, so I did a time lapse for it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Ah, uh, but this is the snowy island that I mentioned at the start of the video. And we are, like I said, going to be using warped wood and black stone to create a very wonderful building, but I got a secret weapon up my sleeve. Do you know what that is? The respawn anchor. That's right, I don't see a lot of people use it in their builds, and I like the little pattern on the side. Granted, they explode if somebody puts glowstone into them. So this would be like not green proof or scar proof. Curse them. Just kidding. Don't curse them. They're pretty cool people. The respawn anchor gives this build a very, very unique color palette that I like to call the purple and black theme. And I think I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in my creative testing world. So let's go to the creative testing world. Kerpow. And here in the t creative testing world, this is what I'm talking about. Look how nice that block looks right there. Oh, it looks so good. And then I realized my trap doors are all wonky. That's that's not good. Look at those trap doors. That is ugly. Who designed this garbage? Oh yeah, me. That's right. Oh crap. Uh, well, looks like I got a lot of work to do, don't I? If I'm going to improve. Did my voice just crack? I think my voice just cracked. Back to the island. And just like that, we're back at the island. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's time for another time lapse, baby. I was going to do a time lapse of the building, but I exploded the island. I had to redo literally everything and I redesigned it. And yeah, so Without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the building now. And yeah, I got no footage of it. So we're gonna do like a small walkthrough. I'll explain stuff and just see how you guys generally react to this. I spent seven hours redesigning this thing. I'm recording this the next day. I had a bunch of stuff pre-recorded already, but it didn't hold up to my standard. So I decided to redo it and I forgot to do a time-lapse recording of me building this. For your benefit, please do not right-click the respawn anchors because I did that and everything exploded. <laughs> but without further ado, yeah. Was that, was that a cool transition? It, it probably wasn't. But if it was cool, this is the building. Uh, I got respawn anchors, I got trap doors, I got texturing on the roof and there. I got a nice little cozy inside with, uh, if I forget to place the ladders and some other blocks. We got a little staircase going up the thing here. We got a small potato farm because, you know, what kind of wizard doesn't have poisonous potatoes? You know, you got little looking windows. Can't really see much from here other than that. These are what I like to call my emergency escape routes. You just flap the trap door and run. This is the, the, the little hovel hole. That That is indeed the path or the, yeah, the path. Yep. That's the path guys right there. Uh, no, that is indeed the building. And I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, let me show you the back side here. This is the back side, it kind of looks like the front. You know, you got like a nice little ring of black stone on the outside to add 
simple characteristics except for where the path uh, led up to. I did use Lightmatica to place all the blocks because I designed this in a creative world. I give my own build a 5 out of 10, maybe a 6. Could be better. Tower's too chunky. This part could be just a smidge lower. Yeah, overall, this is the cute building. I like it, but hate it. Aphantasia is a cruel mistress of disappointment and also wonder. You never know what you're gonna get when you design something while you're like me. Full of ideas, but you can't visualize them. Curse this cruel world and all of its glory and disappointment. Without further ado, I hope you guys did enjoy this video today and I will see you guys in the next one. If you did enjoy the video, remember, subscribing is free. I throw cookies at you for free. A good time here or you can just comment or leave a like you know that that works too but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one goodbye oh, no! do you struggle <laughs> yes i struggle I struggle a lot to speak English. It's good time in the hood. Okay, that was really cringy and I don't feel bad, but I feel bad at the same time. Sorry to subject you guys to the 90s humor. Bum -ba -da -bum -bum. Did I mentioned at the start of the video and now it's raining. What a great time to start raining. Isn't that wonderful? <sighs> Gotta love recording. You take multiple takes, and this is what you get. Freaking rain! <sighs> Why does life suck? Fear the eyebrow. Thank you for reaching the end of the video. My name is Sinamori, and I appreciate you all for watching my wonderful video. I'm not the greatest at editing, but I still appreciate all the love and support I get for these videos that I try to make. So thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!